Because of the shit I talk about on stage, I seem to be attracting a very specific audience to my shows. It's mainly people involved with the criminal justice system. Uh, <laughs> A lot of lawyers, cops, prison officers, and also a lot of crims, like either ex-crims or current crims. And recently I had a bunch of bikies come to one of my shows to support me, which was really nice, and they invited me for a beer after the show. So we went across the road to this pub for a beer and I borrowed one of their vapes to go outside for a smoke. And as I was walking out, he goes, mate, where are you going? And I said, I was just gonna go outside for a vape. And he goes, mate, you can, you can smoke in here. We're bikies. And I'll be honest, I did not know that was one of the perks. I would have <laughs> signed up ages ago. Uh, I think they should be allowed to smoke inside, but bikies shouldn't be vaping. They should have to smoke cigarettes because if I ever got kidnapped by bikies and I was in some garage tied to a chair getting beaten up for information and the ringleader inhaled smoke and billowed it in my face and I had the aroma of watermelon strawberry ice. <laughs> I'm having trouble taking that guy seriously. <laughs> like, what's next? He's going to have dry lips and pull out some Lucas Paw Paw ointment and be like... <laughs> I'd be laughing in between losing toes.